Ink. Every tattoo has a story. What is it about the open road? Is it the horizon? Is it the passing landscape? Is it as simple as realizing that the only thing between you and destiny is a steering wheel and the will to command it? When you're behind the wheel, you literally can go wherever you want to go. To work, to school, the beach, New York or Santa Fe, Florida or Portland, Timbuktu or Kalamazoo. Wherever you choose, it starts behind the wheel. To say that On the Road by Jack Kerouac appealed to me is understating it quite a bit. Published in 1957, the novel went on to define a generation of writers, poets, filmmakers, and artists. The book seems like it was written during a fever dream and stream of consciousness prose that I fell in love with. After reading it, I itched for a similar experience, to drive with no destination in mind, to allow the road to lead me in whatever direction fate would have. In an attempt to form a deeper connection with the book, I recruited strangers and friends alike to portray the characters in the book for a series of photographs exploring the beatnik world of On the Road. But life, as it is, isn't always what you read in novels and watch in movies. The gods of the open road laughed at my road trip aspirations and always preordained my destinations, usually to grandma's house. Which, I must admit, isn't quite so bad. You see, my mom, my children's grandmother, lives a good 500 mile drive away and it makes those preordained road trips to return home to visit her at least seem like destiny and adventure is just over the horizon. To drive from Fort Worth, Texas to Greensburg, Louisiana, you drive a good three and a half hours through Northeast Texas. At first, it's a lot of big Texas sky. Soon though, the only things outside your window are pine trees and a stretch of highway. The last four hours of the trip were spent alongside those tall pines that only change once I'm about an hour from my destination, that hour being mostly the sprawling city of Baton Rouge. I've never gotten tired of the drive though. I've always loved it. The hum of the road, listening to music, watching the landscape go by. Maybe it's the romance of it all, the destiny, the love affair America has with her cars and her roads that influence me. Maybe it's all that time spent just sitting behind a wheel with nothing but time on your hands and the thoughts in your head. Often when you're driving, those are the best times to have long conversations, examine relationships, ask questions that you ask just to pass the time, but that end up giving you more insight about yourself and your roadmates. Or it could be a time of meditation, a quiet appreciation of just the earth below you and sky above. But whatever it is, it has always had its hooks in me. On the Road didn't create that, but rather inspired it. It fanned the flame for that open road. It probably contributes to my obsession with overpasses and empty billboards and Ed Ruscha, but he's a whole nother tattoo story. That's a lot of talk about the road, but that's not what I've got tattooed on my arm. The tattoo is one of the more famous quotes from the book. <clears throat> Quote, The only people for me are the mad ones, mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing but burn, burn, burn. Unquote. This is a testament to the people I've chosen to get close to, the Dean Moriarty's of my life, those people whose flame burns so bright that you can't help edging closer, even though you know you might get burned.